Welcome to the Accomplish Brain Podcast, where we share our passion, knowledge, and experience about the brain and health. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Accomplish Brain Podcast, where we talk about brain health, chronic neuro- neurological disorders, uh, and other current health issues. Um, Andrew Migo is going to start us off kind of reflecting a little bit back on last week's talk about neuroplasticity. Okay, great. Thank you, everyone, for viewing our, uh, our last podcast. And it's interesting that an, an, an incredible article, so I want to kind of share the article of the neuroplasticity and some of the... Um, and some of the chemical uh, things that happen with neuroplasticity. I want to show the article, then I want to go back to our course. And it was so interesting that, you know, I was so excited. I think it was like this weekend, I just happened to see this article. And I'm like, wow, I'm like, we should kind of put this on uh, this, share this article with, uh, and, and this is such a great thing. So I'm going to share this with you. I'm going to share, share my article, my screen. And look what this, and then I'm going to go back to our course, right? Because I think it'd be a great thing. And look at this article. This article says, turning on the switch for, a neuro, for, for plasticity in the human brain. This is from neurosciencenews.com. And the summary of the article, and I'll just kind of summarize it and then maybe go around a little bit in, into the article. And then I want to go back to our course and share how some of the insights, right? So summary says glutamate is first released near the amper type glutamate receptor. Then it's released near the NMDA type receptor immediately after the first signal to activate the switch for synaptic plasticity. Okay. So it's basically the most powerful substance in the human brain for neural communication is glutamate. It's by far the most abundant and it's implicated in all kinds of operations. Among the most amazing is the slow restructuring of neural networks due to learn and memory acquisition, a process called uh, uh, synaptic plasticity. Um, Glutamate is also a deep clinical interest after stroke or brain injury and neurodegenerative disease. Neuroglutamate can uh, accumulate to outside of neurons and down or kill them. So as we talked about is the right amount of stimulation is going to release the right glutamate. Now I want to go back into our, uh, um, our course and I want to share that with you, right. And go back to just emphasize what we talked about last week with neuroplasticity and we used our course and I want to use this again. And if you, if you see over here, what does it say here? Peripheral receptor activates that amper receptor, which is where glutamate first gets activated, which activates the, the NMDA receptor, which is the neuroplasticity, right? And then again, glycine, polyamine, and glutamine, which is really glutamine is a precursor to make glutamate, right? And then it unplugs the magnesium. The magnesium uh, allows the right calcium into the cell that stimulates the nucleus. And this happens over a period of seven to 10 days or seven to 14 days of doing your, your brain exercises a couple of times a day, the nucleus makes uh, the protein c C June, and then they activate the mitochondria and the mitochondria is an energy part of the cell. And that allows us to make more connections. The more connections we have, the improved function, we get neuroplasticity. So I thought that article was just a great article that can emphasize a little bit more or kind of reinforce what we talked about last week with neuroplasticity, right exercise, the right stimulation, the right frequency. And that's what we're, we're, we're all about here. Okay. So great. So I am Jeff, anything else to add? No, no, I, I think uh, it's always just po- important to know is, um, you know, we think of neuroplasticity in such a, a positive manner, but if things are going in the opposite direction, right, if we have, you know, too much glutamate and we're flooding the cell, right, that's uh, the start of uh, apoptosis or, or cell death. And just as we talk about neuroplasticity, like building really good connections, you can do the same exact thing going in the opposite direction, yeah. really destroying connections in the brain. Yeah. So I think, and that's, I think a, it's and that's, a, and that's a good point. And that's basically what happens is 
is that uh, when you have, you can have plasticity in the other direction where basically, um, and let's show that into, um, let's show that into our course because we have a really good, we have a really, really good diagram. I'm going to, I'm going to bring that back up again. And I, I, I don't mean to be redundant with our code. We, you know, we love what we've done. And the, the, the key for us is we want to help more people. Uh, we feel this field of neuroscience and, and rehab is just such a great field, the impact that we can make. And we just want to help more clients get better. And we want to help more therapists do this work. Um, you know, with, if some, some therapists already know the work and they like to know more about our software, some of the, some people want to learn more about the work and we have a course, uh, and then some clients want to get work done either by someone that like us that does it or someone that we know. Um, so this is all great stuff. We just want to help more people. So, yeah, if you look at this picture of abnormal cell, you could actually see, um, up here, what basically happens is um, you have, so if you started up here, abnormal cell function over here, yep. you'll see that basically what, what happens is, is that you have abnormal receptor activation. So it comes down to the receptors, right? You have abnormal either, and, and maybe like, the problem is the receptor isn't firing at the appropriate rate or a bunch of receptors aren't that, that decreases the ability of to stimulate the NMDA receptor, which then causes an increase too much calcium into the cell. And that floods the cell. And, and again, probably too much glutamate. And what happens is too much glutamate, too much calcium floods the cell. And we start to lose those connections. And, they, and, and again, Jeff, they call it apoptosis. They call it cell death. Right. So we can read the, the interesting thing over the last 30 years is that we've learned that we can, we can remodel that whole process through neurostimulation, dietary coupled with supplements. We could replasticize and we can make changes. And we're seeing it with the clients that we work with.